Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you some cool tips and tricks for this awesome device, Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite. I've been using this device for quite a while now and I've found some really cool tips which I would like to share with you. If you're using Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite or any other Xiaomi device which is running Mi UI 12 based on Android 11, these tips will help you out in enhancing your user experience. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and do hit the thumbs up if you like this video. So let's start the video, but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So the first tip is about the display settings. Go to settings, click on display. So by default it's running the light mode, but you can click on the dark mode and choose dark mode option to save some battery life. Also, you have an option for the color scheme. So by default is auto. It will automatically adjust the colors based on the current lighting. But you can also choose an option of saturated colors, which will enhance the color options or the original color option, which will mute the colors. You also get an option of the color temperature. You can choose warm, cool or the custom. You can do your custom color options. I will choose default, but these are the color settings which you can use and change as per your liking. You also have an option of the text size. So suppose you want slightly bigger text, you can choose it over here. Also, you have the high refresh rate option. So by default is 60 Hertz, but if you like to enjoy the 90 Hertz smooth display, you can choose this option. It will definitely affect your battery life slightly, but in terms of scrolling speed and animation speed, it will definitely give you a better user experience. MIUI 12 has lots of customization option and also there is a secret menu. So go into the settings and go to about phone. Click on all specs. Now you click on the MIUI version for seven time. You will get the developer option. Since I've already installed the developer option, so it's saying that no need, you are already a developer. So now when you go back to your additional settings, you will see this developer option mode. Click to enable it. Now, once you enable it, you can click on OEM unlocking. If you like to do some Android development, install some custom ROMs on your device. Also, you can click on USB debugging. Now, USB debugging will allow you to connect to any device seamlessly. And also, if you are into Android development, there are a lot of options which you can play around, but if you have good knowledge about them, if you don't, I would advise you not to mess with anything. And also, you can change your animation scale. So you can click and choose 0.5x. So when you change your animation scale to 0.5x, you will feel your device is slightly more faster. And you will feel the device is slightly more faster than the 1x speed. And also you can change the system DP. Now one more secret feature over here is when you click on the kernel version for seven time, you will get the CIT menus. Now these are all the diagnostic tool. You can check your device yourself without going to a repair center. If something is not performing properly, you can come to this menu and check that function. For example, if you want to check your touch sensor, you can. So you can come to this menu and check your touch sensor. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine on this device. You can check your receiver. One, six. You can check your display here red, green, blue. Also you can check your gyroscope sensor, accelerometer sensor, all your magnetic sensor. So everything is working fine on this device, the rear camera. So all in all, you can check most of the device diagnostic tool by just going to this menu. But usually a lot of people, they don't know about this because these are the hidden and secret features of any Xiaomi device. Also, there are a bunch of cool options in always on display and lock screen setting. So you can, first of all, change the sleep timing. I have put it on 10 minutes. If you want to save your battery life, you can choose 15 or 30 seconds. So whenever you're doing something, your device will not go on sleep mode. Then you also have some really nice features like raise to wake. You can turn it on. So, so as the name suggests, you raise your device to wake up the screen. You also have an option of double tap to wake up or turn off the screen. When you double tap, you can turn on the screen and double tap to turn it off. Now you also have a cool option of launching the camera from your lock screen itself. So, so from the lock screen, you double press on the volume button. It will take you to the camera settings. Now to see the battery percentage inside your battery icon, go to the settings, go to notification and control center and choose the option of status bar. Now here you have an option of battery indicator. So it gives you three options. 
So first one is a graphic indicator. You only have a graphic indicator without any numerical digits inside. Now when you choose the second option, you have the battery percentage inside your battery icon. And also you can choose the third option which will give you the battery percentage in numerical on the right side. I prefer the battery indicator inside the battery icon. But you get all these three options to choose from. Also when you click on the home screen, you get an option of system navigation. Now you can choose either buttons or the gestures. So when you choose button option, you can see the three buttons. So you have your multitasking, your home button and the back button. But if you choose gestures, it will give you a small tutorial to learn it. Click on learn. So when you swipe up, it will go to the home screen. Swipe up and pause to give you multitasking. So when you swipe left or right, it will give you an option of the back button. For me, I prefer buttons, but if you're coming from an iPhone, the gestures will be more comfortable for you. Now, how do you do multitasking and use the device on a split screen mode? Now for multitasking and split screen mode, you click on the multitasking option. Now choose any application, for example, YouTube, press and hold it. So when you press and hold, it will give you a bunch of options. The second option is for multitasking. So now YouTube has been open and you're multitasking. Now you can choose any other application. And if you don't like these application, you can choose any other application of your choice. Now for example, let's choose Play Store. So we have on one side YouTube opened. So on one side we have the YouTube open and on the other side you have the Play Store opened. Now to come out of multitasking, you can just swipe up and choose any one of the applications. So that's how easy it's to do multitasking on Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite or any other Xiaomi device. At the moment, I'm using the default launcher of Xiaomi. But suppose you want to give this device to an elderly person or somebody who is quite mature and would like to see big icons and the big letters. Go to home screen setting, click on default launcher and, and from here you can choose the light mode option. You can click on turn on light mode. So as you can see over here that all the icons are big and huge. The letters are quite big, easy to understand. If you're giving a device to an elderly person or a mature person, I think it will be easy for them to use it. And whenever you like to come out of the light mode, you can click on tap to turn off light mode, turn off light mode. And it will take you to the default launcher. Xiaomi also gives you an option of dual application support. For example, dual application for WhatsApp, for Facebook, for Instagram and so on. To enable it, go to settings, click on applications, click on dual applications. So for example, if I need two Netflix account, I can just enable it. So when you go back to your home screen, you can see you have two Netflix account. This is your main and this is the secondary one. Now to cancel it, you can just uninstall it and you will only have one account. So in this way, you can use multiple application for dual application support. Xiaomi has also included a lot of additional features on this device. So when you go to settings and click on additional settings, you get a lot of options. For example, you have button shortcuts. So as you can see over here to launch the camera, you can double click on the power button. It will enable camera. To take a screenshot, you can just slide with three fingers down and you get the screenshot right over here. To launch Google Assistant, you can long press on the home button and so on. There are a bunch of options given by Xiaomi. Also, you have the quick ball setting, which is just like an assistive touch on iPhone. To turn it on, just enable this. As you can see, the side, you have this small icon, just like an assistive touch. When you tap on it, it will give you a bunch of options to go to your home screen, multitasking, lock the device or take a screenshot. So this is for multitasking. To lock your device. You can move it around anywhere, any side to take a screenshot just like this. It's so easy to take a screenshot. So these are the options you get but if you like to change it you can click over here and change it to anything else. You also get the one hand mode option. So in this option you can change the device screen size to 4 inch or 4.5 inch or even 3.5 inches as per your convenience. So once you enable this swipe from your home button to left or right it will enable the one hand mode to go to the right, swipe to the right, go to the left, swipe to the left. And to come back to the normal mode, again, just swipe it to the right. It will take you to the normal mode. 
And the last feature which I would like to cover in this video is the second space option. So basically when you go to the settings, you have special features, click on that. Now you get an option of second space. Now basically second space option can be very handy. If you like to give your phone to your friend or family member and you don't want them to see any of your data. To enable this option, click on second space. Choose the option, go to second space. So draw your pattern. Now this will take you to the second space. Now when you go to the second space, it's like a new device altogether. You have clean device, there is nothing installed. If you go to your gallery, you have nothing in your gallery. No contacts is saved. No messages are saved. So when you're handing over your device to someone whom you don't want to see your data, you can just switch your device to second space option and they can never get to see what's in your main device. Now to go back to your main device, you click on switch. Now even if the person whom you have given the device would like to see your main device, they need your fingerprint or password to go back. So once you put your fingerprint, it will switch to the main device. Now this is your main device with all your applications and all your data. So this can be a very handy option if you want to give it to somebody in your family or your friend just for a small usage and you don't want them to see any of your contacts or any of your messages, emails or any of your data. Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite and the Mi UI 12 has so many features that it will be difficult to cover in one video. But definitely I will try to make another video covering more options of this device. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. If you like this video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.